What's up everybody, Epic Wolf Gaming here, and today this is going to be episode, I think, 5 of my Let's Build a Gun series for Blacklight Retribution. And today I know exactly what I'm going to build. Um, one of the few guns that I haven't, or one of the few receivers I should say that I haven't done is a submachine gun. And <clears throat> I generally stick behind the fact that uh, I feel submachine guns should be great for run speed, and so I generally don't like to uh, lower their run speed too much. Uh, for this one, we're going to lower it just a tad, but it should be good. What this is mainly going to focus on, for the most part, is uh, recoil reduction and being able to move pretty stealthy, which obviously means a suppressor, which is great for recoil reduction. So, we're going to buy the submachine gun. Now, I already have the suppressor bought because I was making another gun, but I just bought it today, so we're, we should be good for that. But uh, we're using the ARMCOM NT4 because it does the most recoil reduction. For our barrel, we are going to use uh, this um, Hole Breach 77.3 Ogre. And primarily because... Well, actually, we can actually use this. Never mind. <laughs> Here I am thinking that we have to use the, uh, the Ogre, but it does the same damage. And also, we can... Uh, get the run speed benefit benefited from uh, the light sky raider so we're gonna use that and for the magazine I haven't really decided on one I'm thinking of the Express because I feel that Express is uh, one of the most beneficial for uh, for having a submachine gun uh, kind of you know being quick to move and somewhat quick to reload we could easily go with a um, an extended magazine but really don't want uh, this isn't really meant for being you know extended I kinda have my own thoughts of how I would do an extended mag so we're just gonna get the express mags the scope we're gonna use my favorite of all of them light sky L3 aim point red dot so red dot sight um, I could actually just you know be the cheapy and go for this one because I got it for three days for uh for leveling up but I want to use this one because it's my favorite and I'm very comfortable with it with an SMG and for my stock I'm going to use this uh, the Crane COG SGX and the reason being is because um, it does kind of slow me down just a bit but the main thing is that it does kind of increase uh, it decreases my spread and uh, my recoil as well as gives me a little bit more range to work with as well. Um, there's a few other sites or a few other stocks that I could go with. For example, I could probably go with this one, but it is a more heavy stock base. And I could go with this one, but it does increase my recoil a little bit. So I'm going to go with this one to uh, kind of give me back some of my accuracy. I could go the whole nine yards and go with this and be plus. Uh, 65 run speed that'd be kind of cool maybe one day I'll make a submachine gun based for uh, very fast moving and for the weapon tag we're going to use the sonic knife because it's my favorite and uh, it's a you know damage da damage up tag so there's my uh, express suppressed duelist and what this is is uh, like I said suppressed and uh, kind of just ready to rock and roll has a pretty low amount of recoil, good run speed, good reload speed, and all that. So it looks like a pretty cool gun. And uh, here's the stats and all of the stuff you need to make one yourself. Armcom NT4 silencer, Light Sky Raider X15 barrel, Light Sky L3 aim point scope, Vulcan STD05ES SMG mags, Crane COG SGX stock and the camo is your choice and uh, weapon tag is your choice as well but I'm using damage. So we're going to go test this in the field and uh, well actually we're going to make the pistol as well because I have it. Uh, the pistol I was actually using um, this stuff here. If you want to use it you can if not it's up to you. There's the pistol. It's uh, pretty much the same 
attachments except they have the V2X200 mod barrel on it and uh, the light magazine for pistol, the Vulcan STD-02 LLP. Got this mouthful. So I guess you can consider this, let's build a loadout. It's a stealthy loadout and uh, let's test it in the battlefield. Alright, so I'll tell you right now that um, I am one to actually be a little bit skeptical about SMGs as far as being able to, uh, you know, just the way that they have such a low recoil, but at the same time they have a high spread, it's kind of a, it's a really weird feeling in that it feels almost inconsistent, and it feels kind of like it's lying to you because you're, you know, pretty much on target almost the entire time if you have good aim, but the bullets are not going to be hitting anywhere, you know, where you want them to hit. It's kind of this, you know, weird feeling of being inconsistent, but at the same time, I actually really liked this gun. It was um it was kind of interesting. I played quite a few games with it off camera and uh I found out that probably one of the best things to do with um oh that's actually the different gun. I ended up having to switch my gun and I actually switched out to that one because it had electric ammo and I needed the electric ammo for a little bit. My bad. But I did find out that um if you crouch and aim down sight and stay perfectly still, your bullets can actually reach out to pretty decent range with this thing, and uh, you can actually take people out pretty easily. And so, yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's pretty much one thing I have to say. And in a head-to-head -head gunfight, this gun isn't actually that great, but it is good for this kind of stuff right here, as you can see. You know, I suppressed SMG they just cannot even tell where they're getting shot from and I was able to pull out a double kill and take off before they even was able to find me and kill me and then I think I'm gonna get another double kill right here this is a full gameplay um, I didn't record every game that I played with this gun and this is Thursday that I'm doing this commentary which means I have to get this episode out and I was going to go record some more gameplay before I uh, did anything, but Blacklight is not letting me get on as the servers are unavailable. So in a panic, I kind of just put together this, uh, I put on this uh, four minute gameplay of me playing King of the Hill in this late join game. So I apologize for that. But a friend of mine gave me the idea of raiding my guns that I build. And I decided, well, how am I going to raid these guns is, you know good or bad or something like that when it's kind of more of a uh it's a your it's your own style but here's the way that i'm going to kind of rate them myself this is going to be my own rating and this is going to be what i feel would i build a gun like this again would i build this as this particular smg again or would, would i build an smg similar very similar to this but maybe with a changed scope or a changed stock or magazine or something like that the answer yes I probably would I probably would uh, make the same exact gun again I'd probably make it a little bit differently with a different magazine type or something or a different stock or something like that but yes I would probably make uh, this gun again mainly because it was a fun gun to play around with it had a very good uh, kind of hit and run feel which hit and run is basically when you pop out, you start shooting, and then you run away before anyone could even suspect a thing. And that's why I said I'd probably make this gun with a different magazine, because I'd probably like to try this out with toxic ammunition. And maybe a different uh, a different stock as well. But either way, that's the gun. Uh, the pistol I didn't really use that much. I think I got one or two kills in this gameplay. It was kind of weird feeling um, having the SMG be a faster moving weapon than the pistol which kind of made me not want to change to it because I felt like the best thing about this uh, setup was being able to move a little quicker. So, yeah. But overall, the gun was really fun. I actually really enjoyed using it despite the fact that I was a little off-put by the, uh, the SMG's low recoil, high spread feel. But it was a fun gun to use. I definitely recommend it if you want to be uh, stealthy and quick. It was a, a very interesting gun. So, see you guys later. Sorry about this episode being kind of ridiculously weird and only having a few clips of one game and a whole gameplay of another. But just, you know, bear with me. I, uh, please, you know, bear with me. And I hope you guys actually do understand, uh, 
my situation right now. It is Thursday. I want to get this episode out. And Blacklight Retribution is not letting me join. It says servers are unavailable for some reason. So, I apologize. But uh, I'm going to let you watch the last few minutes of this gameplay uh, in silence. Except for, you know, the gameplay. I'm going to shut up though. See you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Epic Wolf Gaming. See ya.